Okay, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to all of you. Uh, my name is Daniel Lager, and I would like to give you a very warm welcome to our info session or a mini virtual open day. Uh, we are very happy to be here uh, today with our team to present the opportunities about a career in uh, Dubai, starting your studies here at the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. And tonight, to share a bit more of the information that we have to present to you today, we'll have our Dean, Dr. Frederick Bouchon. We will also have uh, Dr. Steve Burns, which is our Assistant Dean and Program Manager for the Master's Program. With us as, uh, tonight as well, we have uh, uh, Ms. Rul Brickman, our program manager for our undergraduate program, Ms. Raluca Dumitrescu, who will talk to you about career opportunities, internships, and all sorts of information uh, regarding your first internship or your permanent job um, around here, but also internationally. And finally, uh, myself, I will be here serving as your host tonight and also I'll provide you with information about our admissions process and everything you need to know to join our university. Can you hear me well? Okay, I can see a few, few people see, uh, here writing on the Q&A. So if you have any questions throughout the session, it should not take it too long. We are trying to, to, to stay within one hour. So if you have any questions as we go, please um, write it. You can put, post it in the Q&A chat. Uh, some of my colleagues will be here answering uh, what is possible during the presentation. And I will take all your questions as well towards the end. Okay, so uh, in order to give you a little bit of taste where we are, we'll start with a few slides regarding Dubai and a bit more of the reasons why you should join us here and how you can um, enjoy the student experience while you're studying with us. So I'll present, give them the microphone now to Raluca, who will introduce the slides to you. Okay, very warm welcome everyone to today's uh, info session. We are very happy to, to have you with us online and to allow us uh, to present our lovely university. So let's start with Dubai. Uh, maybe some of you are familiar, some of you uh, is the first time when you're going to be exposed to some of the activities that you can do in Dubai. But I want to start first with our university tagline, mainly in Dubai, leading the world. That means that we are preparing the leaders, the future leaders of tomorrow just here in our premises because it's going to be uh, given to so many opportunities that you cannot refuse. So let's see five important reasons why you should study in Dubai. I have here only five, but for me, these are the most important because we can talk until tomorrow why you should join uh, Dubai and a study uh, field here. So first, it has a very strong economy with numerous employment opportunities. Um, you will see later on in some facts and figures, only in Dubai itself, we have more than 700 hotels, out of which almost half are a four and five star hotel. Here at the Academy, we are very fortunate to be located just across Burj Arab and across um, the shore in within 22 kilometers, we have more than 25 star property, uh, luxury properties over here. So you can see already how many opportunities are just across the road. But if we look uh, into Dubai, not only into the um, hotel industry, but you're going to have quite a lot of um, real estate. You're going to have as well standalone consultancies, business development, um, so many opportunities and still growing because Dubai is never stopping. It's always, always evolving. It's a very uh, much innovation hub driven and future oriented city and I will have a few slides for you later on just where you can see all that in examples. It's a very safe and secure place to be. I can really vouch for it. Myself being here for the last 13 years, I can uh, say that I never felt any more safe rather than here. You can easily go for a walk uh, at midnight if you want on the, on the street. You can easily go to the beach, leave your stuff over there uh, go for a walk, go for a swim, and come back, everything is untouched. So I will say definitely it's a very, very safety um, aspect that you need to look into it while uh, considering studying here. It has a very good quality of life and as well uh, connected through the world due to the multicultural aspect. So we have more than 85% of the population. It's actually expat 
communicate, uh, sorry, uh, population, that means that a very, very small local community. That means that you have and you will make friends from every single corner of the world um, due to this um, multinational aspect over here. A few facts and figures that I think it's very interesting for you to know. Um, as I mentioned, the, the multicultural aspect, I just mentioned it earlier, uh, it was voted as well by TripAdvisor as the most popular <clears throat> global destination and the most luxurious city in the world by the Economist Intelligence. Um, I mentioned earlier that it has more than 700 hotels and he, this is still growing, uh, which is a very good sign. And as well, it was ranked number one globally for the women's safety community. One very important aspect is the Emirati Dirham. Their local currency is always set against a fixed rate uh, against US dollar so that you can have a more secure planning, financial planning in terms of your studying and living here. But now let's discover Dubai. Let's see what you can see while you're here and what you can explore. Of course, we will start first with Burj Khalifa, right? Amazing architecture, still um, the, the tallest building in the world over here. So it's located just, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes across uh, the academy. Very, very nice and uh, breathtaking building over here. Then um, you can continue and exploring the neighborhood because it's located in the downtown of Dubai. So as well, the financial district over there where you're going to have quite a lot of um, business opportunities, a lot of standalones as well. So quite interesting and dynamic uh, environment over there. Um, I was talking earlier about innovation. So one thing that Dubai is very proud of is definitely the opening of Museum of the Future, where you have so many new uh, AI techniques over there, robots, artificial intelligence, different uh, technology and developments and as well. The plan for Dubai until 2050 laid out in terms of artificial intelligence and how that will play a very important role in the development of all the businesses here. Uh, but because Dubai never stops, and I mentioned that it has a very strong economy and um, as well led to innovation, you have here in the picture, they are going to build currently the newest tallest building in the world. So they want to suppress their own records. And that's why you can see how dynamic and driven it is. But well, let's not forget about the culture, because as well, you are going to be exposed to a very rich in cultural heritage, where you can see here, we have an example of um, the Sheikh Grand the Zayed Mosque is located in our other Emirate over there. So it's one of the biggest in the world, but it's a, such an impressive place to visit. And not only it's inclusive of everyone, everyone can go and visit regardless of the nationality. So I think definitely you should do that. You can continue then with the visit in the Louvre, Abu Dhabi. So exact replica of those uh, of the one that you have in France as well, if you want to be art immersed over there. But let's not forget about fun, right? Because it's all about having fun as well. So we have more than 35 theme parks um, across Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So quite a lot of places where you can actually enjoy yourself in your free time. Uh, here on the slide, you have the Ferrari World, which is the largest um, park in the world. And of course they have the fastest ride because they do want to have all the, the world, the breaking records here. So you have the Formula Rosa over here. So if you're an adrenaline seeker, then definitely I would advise you to do that followed by the zip line. So the zip line as well, it's situated in a neighborhood in the vicinity of the academy, which is Dubai Marina. Um, and then you can try it. Uh, it's 170 meter high, and then you can reach up to 80 kilometers per hour. So definitely if you are an adrenaline and adventure seeker, we will highly recommend you to try all that. But let's not forget Dubai, it's quite a hot place, but we have a place where you can actually cool down because we have the largest uh, indoor ski resort just here located in Mall of Emirates. So you can do all the activities related to snow. So skiing, um, taking uh, different lessons, you know, having different activities over there. So you can always go there. The temperature is always constant between minus one, and minus two degrees. So you can actually really experience a snow and a winter environment. Uh, shopping destination, uh, it goes without say, there are many more uh, malls that we have here. So currently there are 65, but so many others under construction. So plenty of opportunities for you to go and explore different shopping avenues. Um, the one that I have here in photo is located just at the base of Bush Khalifa. So once you go and explore this amazing architecture, you can actually 
have a, a nice ending of the day over there. And you can find as well the dancing fountains. Um, but what I like the most, to be honest, in my opinion here in Dubai is the cultural um, district here. So this is the al Bastakia quarter. It's how Dubai started. It's completely um, upgraded and renovated, but they kept the old uh, look just to um, symbolize the culture. So here it's how Dubai started as a, as a port trading. These were the main um, uh, traditions here in Dubai. And something very unique that I want to end with is definitely you need to see the camel racing because we are very familiar with the horse racing, but we need to actually experience the camel racing. This is for the very early birds uh, waking up persons because it's always taking place at seven in the morning, but I do highly encourage you to visit one because it's quite, quite exciting. But I think that's enough for Dubai and what you can do in Dubai if you decide to study with us. Um, I just want to uh, give now the floor to uh, Dr. Frederick, uh, our Dean, that will guide you through our university and the key unique selling points of it. Hello. Hi, hi everybody. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are uh, on the planet. I'm very happy to, to be with you for a few minutes to introduce the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management in Dubai. And as you can see in my background is the, is the academy itself. So the, the Emirates Academy is a boutique uh, university specializing in hospitality management, which is quite unique in terms of uh, offering, because we are offering graduate and undergraduate programs in hospitality management at the heart of Dubai, very close to the Burj Al Arab. I, I think you've all seen this uh, kind of a, uh, unique skyline of Dubai, this uh, veil uh, in, on the seven star hotel uh, uh, along the coast of Dubai. And we are very much also close to a, a huge uh, number of hotel, five-star hotel that are dotting, dotting the, the, sky, the skyline of Dubai with more than 145 five-star hotels within the neighborhood, which provides a huge uh, opportunities for training through internships, through career placement, but also through learning. And that's going to be also the first um, uh, stepping stones towards your future career in hospitality management. But let me introduce a bit the Emirates Academy itself and to, to have a better understanding of who we are and what we can offer in order for you to, to, to develop your education in hospitality management. So first, we, ha we are the first um, hospitality university in the Middle East, created 22 years ago. Uh, by the founder of Jumeirah, uh, Jumeirah Hotel Group, and is part of Jumeirah Hotel Group at the same time. We are also very proud of our uh, achievements in terms of ranking, in terms of uh, recognition at the global level with uh, our educations.com uh, ranking for hospitality school, also the QS Worldwide University ranking, in the field of leisure and hospitality management, where we stand number 13 worldwide, and first in the Middle East and, uh, and Africa. Employability is a very important agenda for, for, our, um, for our university because we want graduates to be able to, 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 to take a leadership position in their future career and being able to, to, to develop their career uh, from a management and managerial perspective towards uh, different hotel groups, hotel hospitality companies, and also to be able to travel the world because that's also one of the reasons most of students come to, to study hospitality and tourism because there's this curiosity to know better the tourism and the travel on our planet. So for that matter, we also can rely on a wide network of alumni, alumni uh, of the academy that are now working in different continents in more than 60 countries worldwide that are also helping students and graduates in their placement and first job once they graduate from the academy. 
partnerships from the industry are also key to the success of your, of your placement. And we work with more than 200 industry partnerships. So in order to, for your internships and also for your placement. At the same, si uh, at the same uh, time, sorry, the academy is also very strong in uh, being a family. It's a size that is small in order to, to uh, support a very strong sense of being part of one family of learning and academic learning. So that's also something that is quite unique because when you come to the Emirates Academy, you are not left alone in a very um, uh, unknown environment. You can rely on the support of the faculty, support of staff, support from the industry as well, and in the safe environment of Dubai. Dubai is one of the safest city uh, in the Middle East, but also in, in, on, on the whole, um, global perspective and that makes it also a very wise uh, choice of learning destination because of that peace of mind when you come to study in Dubai. We are also accredited by the Ministry of Education UAE, also by the ICE, which is an Australian uh, organization specializing in tourism and hospitality higher education and also from the Institute of Hospitality in the UK. So this triple accreditation is also a, a symbol of and a, a strong supporting element of the quality of education students receive when they come to the Emirates Academy. Here on this slide, by the way, you can see the, the, this QS uh, subject ranking of 2023. In the field of hospitality and leisure management, Emirates Academy stands number one in the Middle East and Africa. It also stands 13th worldwide amongst the top hotel schools uh, in the, um, on this planet. And that's really the result of the placement and the education received at UMS Academy and from our network of alumni globally. And supporting this whole learning and development of professional capabilities and personal capabilities at the same time. Emirates Academy is also part of the Jumeirah Group and Dubai Holding. So Jumeirah Group is this hospitality group. And here you can see the, the picture of the Burj Al Arab, this seven star hotel that stands in the middle of the sea at night where uh, the rich and famous are coming to, to, to stay. And that's also a part of the Jumeirah Group, which is very near to the Academy because on the, other, on the next slide, you can also see from the top that uh, we, can, we could see the, the Academy in the background. So it's about only 10 minutes walk from the Academy. And it's also a place where students go for internship and go also for, for work or from graduation. So that's a very prom promising uh, type of career possibilities. But before we, we go to your career, I would like also to introduce you to, to the programs through our program manager, uh, Mr. Rue Brinkman, that will introduce you the Bachelor of Hospitality Management. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. My name is Rule, and it's my pleasure to walk you through the BBA program. And I will not go too much into detail, of course, uh, because we will be available uh, after the session to uh, to answer all your questions you may have. But let us um, have a look, have a glimpse at uh, the bachelor program uh, itself. So it's a bachelor international hospitality management, and we deliver this bachelor program within three years. And with that, you might see the program itself as a fast track program, whereas other offerings uh, worldwide often uh, cover four years. We do it in three years and it even includes two internship internships, what that, what I will talk about a little bit more uh, later. Um, we have a few intakes per year, so you're welcome to join us in January, in April or September, depending on your needs. While you're studying with us, uh, we provide as well opportunity for you to work alongside your studies in these beautiful hotels, Frederick, uh, Rabluka, and Diane mentioned before. So let us have a look at the program itself. 
So as I said before, we're covering three years in total and everything is built up on each other. So you have a very natural uh, progression uh, of your studies. When you arrive with us, you, we will start learning um, what that hospitality business is about. So we will look into general business uh, components um, and we will explain you as well uh, the fundamentals of uh, hospitality. We do that uh, via various courses that looking into food and beverage, for example, hotel operations, but we will cover as well areas such as sustainability and digital marketing. After these three terms, because every year is divided into three terms, you will be able and invited to practice all your theoretical knowledge in your first internship. And this internship uh, takes about six months, uh, which uh, Raluca uh, will talk to you more about a little bit later. But that internship allows you to practice what you have learned so far um, in the hotel businesses in Dubai, but uh, not only Dubai as well uh, in a wider uh, regional context. So the moment you get back with us in year two after your internship, we will build further on your competencies. And here we will look into more managerial courses. Just to give you a few examples on that, we will cover data analytics, strategic management, uh, but as well design and communication. So you see that you have found here already that natural progression of learning. In year three, especially in term seven and in term eight, um, you will be able to customize um, uh, your learning. So that means that in term seven and in term eight, uh, you will be given the opportunity either to choose a revenue optimization or luxury experiences, um, because you might have different needs, of course. To give you an example what that what we mean with that, um, if we're looking at uh, a revenue optimization, for example, we will cover areas like legalization and ethical issues in the hospitality business. Uh, we will cover real estate, a very uh, relevant uh, course uh, in the context of the UAE. But we will cover moreover as well, digital transformation, where here again, you see the natural progression coming from digital marketing in the first year, uh, then ending up with digital transformation in year three. For the luxuries, uh, uh, luxury enterprise, we do similar. Uh, think about courses like uh, contemporary luxury. Think about courses like uh, the experience economy. So if you're very much into the world of luxury, uh, yeah, this pathway must be, uh, must be something for you. Right. Um, it's not only about luxury and revenue optimization, of course, because we will conclude the learning as well with a research project. And you will uh, be invited uh, for some business challenges where you will be asked to transform the business via various projects. So a very hands-on and applied way of learning. Last but not least, before we uh, uh, look into uh, the managerial internship, um, we offer electives as well. Uh, and examples of these electives, and again, it's fully up to your choice, uh, is uh, um, uh, integrated resorts, very relevant at the moment if you're looking at the developments here in the region, and concept creation, especially for those people who would like to uh, open up their own business as an entrepreneur. So managerial internship, that will be your stepping stone towards your career. So this is our final internship. Uh, where you will be invited to help the business prosper. And, it, and they will, uh, they will in, be in need of that because they would like to see what you have learned uh, in order to bring the business forward. So it's a minimum of six months, but you can extend it the way you would like. Uh, we have programs in place which take 12 to 18 to 24 months. All, it all comes down to your needs and what hospitality has in mind for you. So last but not least, uh, as one of the electives you can choose from is uh, is called the hospitality challenge. So if you would like to learn what it is to 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 be part of competitions, if you would like to learn what it is, you know, to be to be challenged and to to come up with solutions for issues in the field, then this course might be something for you. Now let me give an example. Um, every January we host a future leaders challenge. Uh, where 126 students worldwide join us at the academy to think about uh, industry 
uh, needs, uh, problems, and where students then will be asked to come up with recommendations and solutions. So for a board of um, C-suite, uh, for a CC jury, um, yeah, you will, will be able then to pitch um, uh, your best solution and that will give you recognition. It will give you the, the pride you might, uh, might need and it will as well give you the, the skill set you might want to use in the future. Another example I would like to highlight here is the Sustainability Hospitality Challenge. Um, every single year we have we are making it up to the semi-finals where we will be invited by um, by the Sustainability Hospitality Challenge in, in, uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, that challenge is hosted uh, and supported by NEOM in Saudi Arabia. And here too, students are invited to come up with innovative, uh, uh, creative solutions uh, or concepts to existing uh, needs. Um, again, we, we did well. Uh, you see a picture in front of you uh, with the, the students that went. Um, we ended up in at position 10, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's not only because of that, of course, but think about all the experiences you will, uh, you will go through uh, and the network you're building, um, as well the friends you make. So that, that, that is part of that uh, applied learning we are known for. Last but not least, if you're into cooking, um, you get invited even for a culinary contest worldwide. Uh, here we're looking at, um, at Marwa, a student of ours who made it to the second place at the Expo Culinaire in Sarja. Um, and the point I would like to make here is that um, it's not only hospitality management, but if you have an entrepreneurial mind, um, this, this might be the right program for you. If you have a culinary mind, this might be the right program for you. Um, but what we all share here is that we would like to improve the hospitality business in the future. Um, I will be available, of course, for your questions at the end, but I would like to give now the floor to my dear colleague, uh, Dr. Steve, who will talk to you about uh, the master program. So we'll get back to you soon. Thank you very much. Hello everybody, um, this is Dr. Steve. A very warm welcome to everyone around the world. Um, I'm originally from Liverpool, but I've been here in Dubai for around about the last six months. I thoroughly enjoy living and working in Dubai, and I'm sure you would also enjoy living and studying and working in Dubai as well. I'm going to tell you probably for maybe about the next 10 minutes about our Master in International Hospitality program. Um, and then I'm, I'm unfortunate I can't stay around for too much longer after that because I'm, we're teaching the masters uh, this evening. So um, just to tell you about the MIHM, the program, um, it's around about 18 months minimum. Uh, you could take longer if you need to, depending on your circumstances, but it's about a year and a half minimum. Um, and you can also work as well at the same time if you if you wish. We teach it over, the, the courses are taught over a 15 week period for, for each course, and that's over two semesters. So the first semester starts in September through till, through till January, and the second semester starts in February, and then goes through the, to the end of the July. But in addition to that, we have what we call a summer course, and the summer course runs for three weeks during August. Um, that's quite intensive. It's, uh, it's around strategic management. And what we do uh, in the summer course is we get in into Dubai, invite to Dubai, an expert in strategic management to do that summer course over a three week period. Then if you've uh, completed all your courses, all your modules and done the summer course, then you can then go on to do your dissertation. Some people prefer to stay in Dubai to do their dissertation. Some people prefer to go home to do, do their dissertation. Um, but as I say, it's, it depends on yourself. It depends on uh, your what you'd like to do, but the course can be flexible. Um, I would like to say at this point, ladies and gentlemen, that um, when we're talking about the length of the programme and how long you'd like to do in the programme, it's quite important for master's study in terms of what your experience and what your academic credentials are before you come to do the master's, master's programme. What we are particularly looking for, guys, is, is strong academic attainment 
but also strong English language understanding as well. So what we are looking for, for to come as, as direct, direct entry students, is to have a CGPA of at least three out of four, at least three out of a scale of four, and IELTS or equivalent of IELTS six. If you've got those, then I will normally just do a very, very brief interview with you, and then we'll we'll, we'll ask about your experience. We'd like some professional experience as well, because that always helps. Um, and then and then we'll consider then making you a, a direct direct entry offer. If your CBG, CGPA is less than three, but it's above 2.5, what we can do is, is make you a, what's called a conditional offer. On that conditional offer, and, the, and these, these, um, these conditions are not stated by us, these conditions are stated by the ministry. Um, we can make you a conditional offer where you can still come and study, but you can only study for the for the first semester on a certain amount of courses, a certain amount of modules. So therefore, what would happen is, in a way, we are trying to support you to get into the program if your CGPA is a little bit is a little bit lower. What that means is that then the following year, the following September, you may actually then have to do another uh, another module that following September. It means you can still theoretically pass the program in, in eighteen months, but. We would we would only allow to register you when you first come on on nine credits, which is three modules. Um, if you've got a CGPA around about two point five, but just below two point five, and you would still really desperately like to come do a masters with us, we also could, what we do we can enrol you on a, what's called a special project. That special project runs for about about four months, and what you'll do is you will do a project, and the objective of that is that then we can help you to then fill that gap between undergraduate study and master's level study. I will oversee that. I'll, I'll be in communication with you over those three or four months just to ensure that you are then raising your academic achievements and your academic attainment during that three or four months to get to master's level study. So that's um, how you can come and join us. Um, We've got all sorts of support mechanisms in place as well. For those of you that might be doing, doing a special project, any of you that come to us for a, on, on a conditional offer, we've also got lots of study skills programs out there as well to help you. So there's all, lots of things there for you as well. Um, so this course structure, um, we have two entry points. We have September and February. September, we call that the fall semester, September through January. The spring semester is February through to July. And then as I said a few minutes ago, the summer course is three weeks during August. And then you've got your, your, your research project. Um, just I'll have to tell you fairly briefly about our modules, our, our courses, because I'm teaching the masters in about 20 minutes. So we have what um, courses, core courses are hospitality, quality management, branding and media strategies for hospitality. Hospitality and Tourism Data Analytics, Strategic Decisions, Applied Research Methodologies, Organizations and Systems, and Asset Management of Financial Planning. Really good courses which give you a really good grounding in master's level study at master's. We also give you the chance to, make, to take one elective each semester as well. So we've got some electives which are there, sustainable destination management, hospitality entrepreneurship, that's very popular at the moment, designing unique experiences, tech transformation. Some of you might be techies and like that to do the tech transformation and an advanced F&B operations. So for each semester, you'll need to take three core, core modules, uh, core courses and one elective at each, during each, each semester. And then when you've passed your nine courses, you then will go on to do a research project. That could be a consultancy project or it could be a traditional dissertation. Again, we will support you on that. You might want to stay in Dubai, you might be living in Dubai you want to, and, and do that in Dubai, or you may want to go back to your home country. Um, if you have passed all of your nine courses first. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to leave it there. Um, but if you've got any questions, about it. Uh, Diane and her team at the end of this presentation will also answer any questions as well that you may have for us. So 
thanks very much. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you in Dubai. Great place to be, great place to study. And uh, good evening. I hope you have a, a great day. Take care. Okay, now that you have discovered the programs that we offer here at the Academy, you could see that the big component, it's actually related towards the hospitality careers, right? So uh, to start with, the bachelor program definitely will have um, an internship component, actually two of it, which will require a lot of preparation, but not only. Even if you decide to join the master program, uh, it can have the internship component. It's not mandatory, of course, but if you don't have experience, in the industry, I highly recommend uh, to take some of these opportunities on board for not only we can as well support you to maybe seek a part-time opportunity or a full-time opportunity if your schedule allows, why not? But let's discover how can we assist you with that. So we have something in place called personal um, and professional development classes that will actually be linked towards your career support. So what we do in these classes, we do a lot of work towards your CV writing, towards your interviewing skills, public speaking, um, as well as we, we will bring quite a lot of uh, industry leaders from the market, either it can be the, the hospitality, the hoteliers in general, or someone from events companies, someone from consultancy, government institution, and many others that will talk with you, they will guide you, and they will actually give you some advice on how we can do. In addition to that, we do as well organize career fairs here at the school for um, all the, the ones that I mentioned uh, earlier. So either an internship, a part-time, or full-time opportunity. So you're going to be able to have as well the opportunity to meet the employers face-to-face. Uh, -face, you'll be able to have the chance to interview for them. And why not secure a very nice offer for you based on your profile over there. Uh, in terms of internship, what we offer here at the school, we offer the only paid internships. We do not um, encourage partners that are not offering uh, a paid internship because you will be spending still quite a lot of time in the properties over there. Um, again, uh, recruitment talks on the campus, as I mentioned, and uh, Dr. Fred mentioned earlier that we have more than 200 industry partners and this database is uh, growing. So I'm very proud to, to announce that, that we have more and more partners signed up with us, that means that you're going to have so many chances to secure something during your programs, either that is going to be a bachelor or a master program. And um, I stand uh, behind the fact that we currently are placing with 100% success rate all our students. So that as well, it's a very good indication of what uh, we can offer as well. Um, my last part will be just to present the, the industry partners. You can see here a few of them on the slide, but not all of them because we cannot fit them all. But you can see key players in the region, such as, of course, Jumeirah with Burj Al Arab. You have Mandarin Oriental. You have um, the Fairmont. You have Emirates Airlines, even for the catering part. You have Atlantis, Marriott. So all the key partners are here present with us and not only. So with that, I will uh, leave you towards your last part of the presentation, which is actually discovering the campus, right? Because we talked about Dubai, we talked about the programs, about the university, their accreditation. So let's see where you're going to be uh, staying if you decide to join with us. And for that, I will invite uh, Diane here with us. Thank you, Raluca. Hello, everyone, I'm back. So I hope everything was super interesting. So I'll take back the talk about our campus life. So here is our location, as you can see, just some block away from the beach and the whole nice line of five-star hotels around us. A lot of Jamira properties, students are walking distance, five minutes away. And then you have this amazing uh, campus, authentic Arabic architecture that I will guide you through. So it's a very nice, cozy, boutique style uh, university where students have the opportunity to live on campus if they want and then enjoy a feeling of a hotel at the same time as a university uh, environment. So here's some of our learning facilities. So we have different classrooms from lecture halls to more standard classrooms are very innovative as our innovation hub, where we have the opportunity then to explore uh, future thinking, design thinking, a lot of different concepts in classrooms, making it very hands-on and more dynamic. A bit more of our teaching facilities. 
and other um, facilities on campus. Here you can see our auditorium, uh, the library, and resources, also food and beverage. So here we offer on campus breakfast and lunch uh, to our students. We have uh, our cafe, but also our training restaurant, Icon, where first year students will have a chance to experience and to understand the concept of a restaurant, a fine dining from the kitchen aspects of managing a kitchen to the um, experience of uh, managing the restaurant and learning more about the service techniques. We also have the opportunity to guide them through um, uh, all the barista or mocktail courses, understanding more about beverages. And if you're passionate, we have our food truck where we take students also for different concept projects. Um, coming very soon, end of November, we have the COP28 here in the UAE, here in Dubai. We'll have our food truck there where students will have the opportunity to come with a concept. So we're talking about sustainability. So every day during a week, there will be a special dish, a special ingredient that will talk about sustainability, a link as well to the traditions of the local cuisine. And this is an amazing experience for our students to be connected with the U UN uh, uh, delegates and all the different countries that are participating and coming uh, here very soon. So let's talk about uh, accommodation on campus. So accommodation on campus is optional. It's very recommended, especially for first year students, or if you're coming here from abroad and you're uh, not used to yet with Dubai, it's a great uh, place to stay. It's very comfortable. And as you can see, we offer single studio accommodation to our students. So we provide everything that is needed from your uh, TV, your very comfortable bed, a place for you to study, to have your meals. And we have also a kitchen, a mini kitchen like that is also fully equipped and is provided to students that want to cook space. in the evening. Come with me. Um, if you want to have something with your friends around, so you can see a little bit more of the details here. in the center here. of the studio, you'll find everything you need. And if you need to your use bed, the iron your board, study area, the iron, this dining is also available for you, to our students. TV, we have a laundry on campus, storage and wardrobe space, to make it very and the own safe deposit box. As and I'm just going to pass a bit more here so you can explore other facilities on campus. Some of the F&B, the food and beverage places. We have here leisure facilities. And I will let you explore. Today, I'd like to take you on a brief campus tour to showcase our leisure so facilities. So, is our like student lounge, academy, so that where students like, like to stay between to the classes. With, I'll show you so a student recreation room, which we call the Barza. Places that it's Come only for them to have their moment uh, with their classmates and enjoy a bit of sports. Barza is the favorite hangout spot of our students, where they come during their breaks or after class and to so conduct their. So here is the gym, fully equipped gym as well. Students will have a car to access it from early in the morning all the way to late in the evening. So the gym's located just next to the pool. And here's our swim pool. Where you see the windows are the single studio accommodations that we provide. So all rooms are single. Some of the sports facilities, wood sports court, and we also have the tennis court and a bit more places to relax. Finally, here's our rooftop, where we have an amazing view. The surround is from Burj Lahab all the way to Burj Khalifa on the other side. Okay, that's a little bit of our campus. So now I will go through the admissions uh, process, how it works, how you need to get prepared. So starting with the undergraduate program, for the bachelor's program. So we're looking for candidates that have a successful complete, uh, completed a high school program. We do have different curriculums, different requirements, but in general, I'll just give you an overview. We are requiring a minimum of 60% of passing rate. And then for specific um, uh, diplomas, we'll have some spe uh, specific uh, results that is expected. You can see the full uh, admissions criteria in our website, whether you're doing A-levels or IB, you will find it the detail uh, table in our website, but we're also very happy to assist you with that questions. Regarding English uh, level, English proficiency, we are looking for candidates with a minimum of 5.5 IELTS or a TOEFL IBT 71. 
okay? That's what we're looking in terms of English. If you are at 5.0, we will talk to you how to get um, enrolled or how to get prepared. We have a partnership here in Dubai as well with the school, language school that helps preparing students to achieve the minimum requirement. So if you need further information, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, finally, for the master's program, we are looking for candidates that have completed a bachelor's degree in any discipline, and we are looking as well for a minimum CGPA of 3.0. I know Dr. Steve have already explained uh, if a, a candidate has a result between 2.5 and 3, there is a way of accepting students under certain conditions with less uh, courses at the beginning. And if you are below 2.5, we'll help you through a project uh, prior to starting your studies to be able to increase that CGPA and join us in the program. English proficiency for the master's level is 6.0 IELTS or TOEFL IBT 79. Okay, that's the minimum. There'll be more questions about that, I'm sure. Don't hesitate to type your questions in the Q&A. We have with us tonight as well our admissions coordinator, Ms. Angel, who is already answering some of your questions. And don't hesitate as well to ask a few more questions now as we go and also leave your um, email address if you wish to receive further information. Now the details about the admissions process. As Mr. Rula mentioned before, we have for the undergraduate program three intakes per year. So you have flexibility to join us, for example, now in January 2024 or in April and finally in September 2024. So we can always apply. We have own rolling admissions process here. So at any time, you can start your application in our website. For the master's program, we are looking for two intakes a year. One is in February and the other one in September. So the next one is February 2024. The process will be very simple. You will go on our website and I will give you the link in a moment. You will start your online application. Once you have started your online application, you can save it, you can continue later on. You will be asked to upload certain documents. And then once you have completed and submit your application, there will be a link for an application fee to be paid. Once this application fee is paid, our admissions coordinator, Ms. Angel, she will then schedule with you an interview and with our program managers, either Ms. Rule or Dr. Steve will be there in that interview to make sure um, that you are eligible and you're prepared to join us in the program. You will then receive an offer letter after the interview and that's, uh, this offer letter will be giving a um, certain deadline, 30 days to confirm your intentions to join us in the program to guarantee your place. And then the process of admissions on onboarding will start. We will give you then the detailed schedule of your fees and help you with the deadlines and the planning our you study your studies uh, very well until the moment that we will do the pre-departure uh, with you and start preparing for your orientation um, one week before starting the program. Full, full payment will be required four weeks prior to the start of the intake. Okay, we will also be responsible for your visa. So if you're coming from abroad, uh, once you have registered and confirmed your participation in the program, we will then start the visa process. You don't have to worry about anything. You will provide us with the documentation that we need and the visa is applied from us. So by the school uh, here with the uh, local authorities. It usually takes between one week and two weeks. And then once we uh, receive that visa, we'll send it to you, it's electronic, and then you'll be able to fly to, um, to the UAE, fly to Dubai on a student visa. That student visa allows you to work while you're studying and allows you to stay later and transfer your visa to an employer and continue your career. So this is a very important point because once you finish your studies, um, whether you're doing the undergrad or your master's program, you will be able to continue working in Dubai for as long as you have a, a job, as long as you have an employer. So this is a fantastic place to start your career because you don't have to leave after 12 months or 18 months, as a lot of our countries will require you to do so. Mm -hmm. Finally, check in, orientation, and then you'll be here with us. So in terms of schedule of fees, so some of you have been asking about how much it is to study here. So I'll give you just an overview uh, of the full program. So for the bachelors, for the total of three years, 
And if you include the application fees, the completely tuition, additional charge that includes all your teaching material and everything else that you will need it. Uh, we are talking about uh, approximately 300,000 uh, um, uh, AED, which is the local currency here, the hub. This is more or less 82,000 uh, American dollars for the full bachelor's degree program here. It does not include accommodation, as you know, is optional, but if you decide to take, we're very happy to go through that as well. The detailed schedule of fees you can download from our website. For the master's program, we are talking about a total of 100,000 uh, dirham, which is approximately 27 and a half, less than 30,000 uh, US dollars for the full master's program. Both degrees are well recognized and accredited not only here in the UAE, but also internationally. So you will have no uh, problems to validate that in your country later on. We offer some scholarships um, up to 30%. And here are some of them. The most common one is the merit-based scholarship. It's the one that you will be given the opportunity to apply. All the students can apply. Uh, there were some re requirements uh, for that. We are looking at your academic performance but we're also looking for extracurricular activities that you have done during your studies in high school or during your um, life uh, uh, studies in the undergraduate level. We are looking as well for your, motiv from, uh, your motivation letter, reference letter, and of course, um, the interview that you have taken before. So we will guide you through the process. For master's students, in addition to the scholarships, there's something that is called the HFTP as well as scholarship. This is an opportunity for students that like writing, writing about a fintech that we can guide you through. You can get as well is a grant from, um, from an organization and they will apply towards your tuition fee as well. It, uh, the amount is quite a high amount. So if you're interested in knowing more about, please reach out to us. It can represent up to 30% of your studies as well. So this is um, just to um, sum up all the scholarships and now I'll open for questions. Thank you very much for staying with us. I see that we still have a few questions here. 